It's, it's raining a ton this morning. I was checking out the radar last night and huge um, rain systems moving through. I'm, I keep, I'm keeping an eye on the radar, just kind of watching it. Uh, it looks like it's gonna move through right around sunset, or sunrise rather. Uh, that's at 6.57, and the plan is to launch right about six o'clock, but for now I'm gonna just head over there, check it out. Um, I wanna launch off the beach, uh, but I need to check out the swell first. Uh, if it's too rough, then I'll probably move to another spot. All right, well, it's still kind of sprinkling. It's an hour before sunrise. The, the rain actually is kind of cut off a little bit sooner than I thought it would. Uh, so pretty soon I'm gonna probably start pushing out. I'm gonna look at the radar one more time just to make sure I'm not gonna get totally pissed on, you know, in the next 10 minutes or so, then I could probably wait that out. But I'd like to get out there. I went down, I looked at the surf. It looks, it looks fine. Maybe around like one to two feet. All right, it's, uh, it's about 10 minutes after sunrise now. I managed to catch five baits. I'm still marking more bait. In fact, I'm marking something right now um, but I'd like to get out deeper and catch some of the bigger baits so I've got five in the tube so I don't know those are looking like something a lot bigger than bait right up in there but anyway I don't really want to target all the small stuff so I'm just gonna push out to the deeper water like 300 400 feet and live bait hopefully around a, a school of opalips out in the deep water. Uh, the last time I was out here doing this, I, I got cut off by wahoo a couple times, bait, baits cut in half, that sort of thing. So I got wire tied on, kind of my lighter pelagic setup, and then I've got 80 pound mono to a circle hook, and that'll kind of be my, uh, I guess, targeting a bigger yellowfin tuna or whatever else is out there. And depending on how the morning goes, I might even push out to deeper water than that just to try and go after a striped marlin or something. They should be moving in right now. Fish finder is going pretty nuts though. But it's too shallow. I need to push out. I got it about another half mile to go. Thought I just went over a whale, but now it's starting to look more like bait fish and stuff. Still pushing out, this is just in 225 on the ledge. Looks like I've got a stowaway, a little lizard Some at some point jumped on the kayak. I'm not sure if he did that at the house before I loaded the kayak yesterday and was just up there all night or if he jumped on there when I was at the beach. But, you just better hope that I don't flip this sucker. He'd probably just hang on to it anyway and just be, be just fine. He looks okay. I just came over a massive amount of something. Doesn't really look like bait. It's bigger, longer, streakier. It's just bringing in my bait to to reset it. I got it to my leader, and now I'm just letting it out again. Look, something on the drop. Oh, it's a tiny little kava kava. This is actually good bait. Yeah. 
I'm gonna try and stick them out on one of my other poles if I can get situated here. He kicked and that hook dug into my hand but not past the barb and I don't even see any, well there's a little bit of blood now but kind of lucky. Hopefully a wahoo will come and smoke that thing. Marking all that stuff again. It might all be Kava Kava Bonitas, but I'll drop through and dig it. It's probably a terrible idea right now because I got two other lines out. This Bonita is mostly dead. So I'm just going to take them off. It's a good little bait size one though. And there's tons more. I've seen them jumping out here. I'm pretty sure that's what those big schools are. This would be a good bottom bait now. I got my live bait out there. I've got this all set up with wire. Huh. Hooked up on the vertical jig. Pretty close to the bottom. Oh. not small <laughs> I don't think nice to get something I haven't really seen anything actually going on Uh, I think it just came off. Yeah, lost it. So I'll mostly just check the line. But marking a lot more stuff again. I brought it back up, paused it, and then it, this one came and smoked it. Doesn't feel as big as that last one. It's kind of a different run. Oh. 
almost looking like tuna head shakes, but it's kind of too hard. Too heavy. So it's probably some kind of jack. Trying to keep my other line out there. Some tension on it and not get all tangled. We got 50 pound floral on this rig right now. It's a long way down to hook up, 300 feet down. Yeah. This was a tuna of some kind, it'd be going way harder. This thing should be rolling over here in a second. is starting to come out of it now. It's either a amberjack or an allure or something. like Mr. Amberjack to me. Not as big as I thought it was. Let's get him out of here. I'm marking a bunch more stuff on the fish finder now. Alright. Thanks, dude. So that's an Am Alamico jack. I think I hooked another one of those kava kava. Oh, it came off. I'm trying to get something out of the mid water column, but it seems just to be kava kava down there. I don't know what those bigger marks are, but I'd like to hook one of those. Just caught a new bait. Something good will eat them.
way harder than normal. I wonder if it's a, maybe a skipjack tuna. That's my first skipjack tuna. Sweet. Man, they do fight a lot harder than kava kava for sure. It's a pretty fish. Thanks, buddy. Hell yeah. <laughs> it's always nice to catch a, a new species. It took me freaking forever to catch to catch that little tiny skipjack tuna, but it looks like the action might be turning a little bit. Uh, it's almost high tide, so I guess I'll stay out here a little bit longer. I've got three more fresh baits, and I'm pretty stoked with that. Um, <laughs> I caught you know, I caught pretty much everything else before I caught a skipjack tuna. I mean, I haven't caught a sailfish, uh, but I freaking caught a marlin and everything else before I ever got a skipjack tuna. Uh, that was pretty cool, small one. Uh, that's an aku in Hawaiian. Got more bait in there than I thought I did. This is one of the newer baits that I caught maybe like an hour ago. Getting a lot more marks. Something's jumping around behind me. It looked like a needlefish when I saw it, but I'm out in 300 feet. I like to think that they aren't out this deep. The master school of uh, some kind of tuna, I think. I mean, it could be bait, the Opelu. I've got that little silver cast master tied on here. Got it. Yeah, pretty sure they just stole the bait off that one. Oh, Barracuda. Yep, oh, snapped off right there. Well, at least I got to see what it was. <laughs> 